this was beautiful absolutely beautiful thank you so much i i didn't know this much about pugsy but honestly i'm trying to think he looks a little bit like the cousin of that one oh the stupid arcade hoppy dude who hops on the squares and changes them colors hubert definitely related to Qbert, okay and Qbert's ugly and so is pugsy um anyways up next we have uh oh my gosh this is not the right game at all did i really mess everything up i messed everything up because guess what we are <laughs> we are having tar chen coming up next yeah ig ignore did i just break everything i probably broke everything let's see Oh, bot, can you please go? Uh. Okay, here, I've got a good idea. Set up. See? See? I'm gonna fix everything. <laughs> I'm so good at everything. Oh my gosh, I have butchered life. Yeah, next is definitely Jungle No Oja Tarchan. Now, remember, High Spirits ran this during the last marathon, and I think we all had a blast with that, you know? I remember watching and just being like, wow, Tarzan, you have definitely grown a few muscles, you know? And they were good muscles, very strong muscles. Uh, and he grew some other things, too. So I am just about ready to send it on over to Oglib. And he is welcome to take it away. Yo, I was looking for you. Hi. Hello? Hi! I'm Pugsy. Uh, oh, you're Pugsy? I thought you were Author Blues. Dang. Well, if you can find Author Blues, let me know. He's supposed to commentate this run with me. Okay, well, I guess I can do that. Okay. So you're telling me that this is going to be Jungle Nuija Tarchan Sekimanyu Daikakato Nomaki? Yeah, this is a Jungle Luigi Tartan, second man you like Kudo no Maki. Um, it's the most popular game based on an anime, based on a manga, based on the story of Tarzan. Um, as you can as you can see, they're pretty much pretty much really faithful to the to the uh, thing. Like this is yeah, pretty much exactly really exactly like the story of Tarzan. We all know and we all we all like. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can just kind of fire this off whenever. I think I think everybody's just ready. Am I? I well, I don't know if I'm ready. Are you ready? Dude, pull the trigger on that bad boy. All right, let's let's fire this bad boy off in three, two, one, go. So this is uh, Jungle King Tarchan World Beat 'Em Up Tour, basically. Uh, so like the story is, hey man, wouldn't it be cool if Tarzan went around the world and showed everyone how awesome he is by punching them to death? That's yeah, that's pretty much the lore. I think also we'll see Japanese Jane a little bit later. She like also like wants Tarzan to like get stuff for him or something. I don't know. Yeah, you I, haven't, I haven't learned the lore yet. It's anime lore, so you don't have to respect it. Um, but yeah, um, pretty much you just kind of you're Tarzan and you're in the jungle. You're punching guys. Uh, that's the Tarzan kick. It clears out those bricks really quickly. Uh, you like to see that. You do. Oh, that was a nice little spicy little thing there. You can actually kick those bad guys and uh, take them out uh, and keep moving. Yo, shout out to that monkey. You kick that guy too. I think it's really great that they were faithful to the true story of Tarzan and allowed yeah. him to fly. 
Yeah, it's really. Can we talk about that? I didn't ask if we could talk about that. I'll let you know what, Author Blues. I will let you describe what's happening as best you can. Because if you get in trouble, that's okay. Uh, so what he's doing is he has um, basically mastered the physical form. Yes. Um, he is the greatest achievement in human history, and uh, he is using his body to give him the power of flight, yes. something that most humans uh, need machinery for, but Tarzan has perfected the form, really. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is optimal human performance. Yeah, you may not like this, but this is peak performance. You have to like, <laughs> you have to mash the button to make it happen. It's just so good. I didn't punch that far enough. So All it right. seems like he's sort of riding something. When, yeah. when he's floating, it seems like he's like sort of riding something. Um, it, well, it's it's an excess of skin. We'll go okay, with so that. Okay, so he's got, on some of his, on somewhere, he, he manages to find an excess of skin yeah. that you can use for flight. Mm-hmm, like, that's uh, exactly what's happening. Hey, we're, we're, gonna, we're going to the first boss. Guess what the first boss is? I bet you're gonna punch like some soldier or something. Probably. Nah, it's a tank, dude. It's a giant oh. tank. Oh damn. Oh, I didn't get a. I didn't even get a double kick. That's okay. We kicked a tank into space. Wait. So you're. So Tarzan can punch a tank to death. Yes. How does anybody else stand a chance? Wait, there's no way. There's no way. Okay. So here's some points that we got. I don't. Uh, you can. I don't even. You can get a bonus apparently, but I don't know how. Um, but then, pretty classic trope of video games here. Um, we're about to play a rock, paper, scissors tournament against all of the enemies. Go ahead and post uh, your rock, paper, and scissors in the chat. Yeah, let us know whether or yeah. not you are a rock, a paper, or a scissors. Yeah. I'm actually... Okay, that, that kind of... I, I jinxed it. You want to do this, obviously, in as few rounds as possible. So I was winning a whole bunch, but now I'm losing. Like, the reverse sweep is happening. Yeah, ideally, um, oh, there's a tie. That's it's, good. It's ideally you lose. Right. And ties or, are the best way to do it because ties yeah. have the shortest amount of text and they knock right. both players out. So that was right. actually not very good. I had like one tie, ended up winning. So kind of bad luck. But it's like, I think you looked into this and tried to uh, figure yeah. out hey, is there a way to like manipulate this? But the really Absolutely not. Absolutely so, nothing. Cool trick coming up. It's like quintuple frame perfect. I didn't get it. You can actually um, hit that top section and jump over it and kind of skip all this little part I'm doing right now. But I think it's only ever been done in practice. I don't know if anybody's ever done it in a run. No. I've done it, I think, just one time in practice personally. Yeah, I think I've gotten it once. I got, I, I got it a couple times when, like, I had it 50%, but, like, actual live, like, 100%, I've only got it, like, once. So it, it's pretty hard. Uh, but this skip, uh, I missed as well, so let's not even talk about it. Yep, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't, de pfft, who cares? So this stage is just all about sort of going down to the ground floor of, of um, buildings and then climbing up to the top and repeating. Um, this is the first time that we'll actually see some of our animal companions. Yeah, yeah, we haven't mentioned them yet. Um, and the first one is coming up pretty quickly here. Uh, both levels have an armadillo and an otter. I fell again, dude. I personally identify with the otter. Right. And yeah, we will see the otter power up a couple of times. Um, the armadillo has actually been completely routed out. We don't need him, but um, I'll probably pick him up in level three for the fans because it's a pretty, it's a pretty amazing power up. Like we've seen some the pretty great, it. we've seen some great Tarchan faces so far this run, and armadillo is. Uh, is definitely along that line. Um, I guess I didn't really talk about how this game kind of ended up in my hands. Uh, I actually played this during the mystery tournament um, a billion years ago, and like it was so weird and hilarious, I just had to keep playing it. And um, I think I eventually bullied you into to running this game off, and then you got world record, and it was great. And then, yeah, the world record yeah. was my high spirit. Um, he had the world record for a while. It was like a 22 or something like that. And I, I ran it until I was like a 2005. Still no sub 20s in the world. We're all yeah, we're uh, waiting. Basically, the entire world is waiting for Oglib to get the sub 20. They might be waiting a while. Hey, there's the otter, by the way. Whoa, what does he do? He uh, floats that. through the water really quick. And you actually need him to get under that little one tile gap. So there's our boy, the otter. 
So there's actually a lot of kind of cool mechanics in this game that make it um, very unique outside of just the weird art and stuff like that. And yeah. The theme. Uh, so things like you don't take damage if you're standing still. Um, he just sort of lets items phase through him if you stand still. And also uh, something we'll see in a later uh, in later stages is you can actually heal um, anytime you want to. Uh, the only thing that stops you from being able to heal yourself is if time runs out in the stage, then you're not allowed to heal yourself anymore. Yeah. We're about to fight a super original character named Ryo. Definitely a character you've never seen before. So basically you want to jump over the Hados, watch out for the Shoryu, you know, punish that. You got a lot, you got a lot of frames on the Shoryu. Totally original character that they came up with just for this game. Never, never been seen before anything like this. Don't uh, say too many mean things or his brother, Can is going to come and beat you up. <laughs> Alright, that fight went okay. Um, most of the bosses in this game really don't have, like, iframes so much. Like, as you can just kind of hit them whenever. Uh, the next boss is, like, the exact opposite. He's the worst boss, for sure. But uh, most bosses, you kind of just have to react to what they're doing and just try to get as many Tarchan punches or kicks in as you can. Alright, so here we go. More rock, paper, scissors. Right, there's a tie. That's good. Ties, ties are solid. All right. Definitely let us ties. know. Definitely let us know in chat whether or not you are a rock, a paper, or scissors. We yeah. gotta know. I think I personally, I, I I feel like I'm a team scissors kind of guy. Yeah. Battle with your neighbor. Yeah. I consider myself a, a team paper, so obviously Oglib wins here. Yeah. That was pretty. That was good. That was good. Um, we got like a bunch of ties, and I lost. So, you know, coming in to the next area, which is Casino Zone from Sonic 2. Um, we've we've gone cross uh, gap, crossing the gap between different uh, game companies and all that. Really, really bold move. But uh, this stage features a lot of platforms that move up and down like this, um, and just kind of moving around like that. So it's uh, oh, we almost I almost gave it away. It was close there. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful. We'll, man. we'll see that later. We'll see that later. Um, this trick right here is probably frame perfect. I don't know. <laughs> I did, a, I, did a da I did a damage cancel there. I don't know how that happens, but I took damage, but then I immediately got movement back again. Uh, okay, so we did the little skip to get up top here. I gotta hope I don't get owned by this nerd. And we're gonna buy Yeah, we got owned by that nerd. That was that was just gonna happen. You hate oh, no! That happen. This is bad. This is bad. Everything's terrible. All right, I gotta... Okay, we gotta, we gotta focus. Gotta bring it back here. I, oh, wow. I promised in my submission video that I would uh, spend more time on the submission than I would actually practicing this game. And I gotta tell you, I'm a man of my word. I uh, <laughs> didn't play this game until about an hour before my run, so here we are. If well, promises something, you know he's going to deliver on it. Oh, that's, that's bad. You do indeed hate to see this happen. Oh, okay, so um, we'll get a little preview of early stuff. So I'm down at one health. That's really bad, right? This is awful. Yeah. But don't worry, Hopefully if you just stand still, that. you just uh, dislocate your shoulder and like your armpit and you can refill health. Pretty classic uh, video game trope. That's something we see pretty much in all games these days. I really appreciate that. I feel like that there's not enough games talking about this important issue. Yeah. The medicinal properties of armpits. I, I can only imagine that with the number of people watching this, 3,100, <laughs> that for some of them, this is awakening something in them. <laughs> One of my favorite things about running this game is people never seeing it before, so I'm glad. I'm sure quite a few of you have never had any experience with this game, and uh, it's it's a real treat. This part here skips a whole bunch, I think, probably, as well. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> the casino zone, like, we skipped so much of it, I don't remember what the level's actually supposed to be anymore. Hey, okay, we got these nerds up top here, we're gonna deal with them. I'm gonna fall down here. This probably skips a bunch. I just love this so much. Ah, this probably skips something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is the best video game. All right, here's here's the uh, for the fans. I'll grab the armadillo here. This this is you a this is a armadillo. treat. I mean, look at this. How do you look at this guy? What a he's unit, too, man. He's too cute to be allowed. <laughs> too cute for this world. There has got to be a rule against this. <laughs> There's got to be a rule against this. I guess we haven't talked about woobling. Um, so when you jump, you actually get a really quick burst of speed. 
but it dissipates really quickly once you land. Oh, this jump's kind of weird now that I have the armadillo. Okay. Um, so if you can land again really quick and jump, you can actually just maintain that really quick speed. So we do that in low ceilings. I call it woobling because I'm an idiot, and um, that's how it works. So we're on to the next boss. This is uh, Jason from from uh, that series of games. This is the worst boss in the game by far. Um, you you just have to kind of react to what he's doing and he's giving me a lot of these really short jumps, which I just, I can't hit him. I have to get behind him after he jumps past me in order to damage him, otherwise he'll just block it. So yeah, I'm yeah. really at the mercy of what he decides to do. This boss is very hard to uh, manipulate. Like, yeah. even when I was writing this regularly, I had some theories about how to get him to do long jumps to go over your head but even then it's not terribly consistent. And you really want to knock his health down in one round because uh, if if by chance you manage to not get it in one round, uh, then everyone gets a refill. And I want them having refills. Yeah, so if you don't get it out in one round like I didn't, he gave me a couple bad patterns and I missed one or two shots, you start to refill health. So obviously this loses a pretty fair amount of time. It is possible to one cycle him, but you kind of got to execute well and also hope for some decent luck, and I did neither, so. But should be able to just clean up this fight. I got, the more damage you get on him, the better, obviously, because he'll, he'll kind of refill based on how much health he has, so you still want to try to get him down as low as possible, even if you know you're not going to one-round him. Nice. <clears throat> Absolutely crushed it, my man. Thanks, man. Really helps out the stream. The boss is really frustrating too because as you may have noticed, um, single, like regular punches only deal half a heart of damage mm -hmm. and um, like tiger punches deal a, a full heart of damage and landing those really requires getting good patterns as well. So you notice that he dropped a few regular punches just to get the damage in, but I mean, ideally you would want to get uh, tiger punches on all of them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that one we won, but it went pretty quickly, so not too bad. We got three extra continues, which hopefully we'll use none of those. But uh, we're off to another wonderful place, um, some sort of uh, some sort of castle. I don't I don't really know. It's a castle. Just deal with it. Those enemies right there, these uh, skeleton guys in this stage, these are probably the most like just dumb enemies. They really just like sometimes decide you can hit them and sometimes they decide they can block you. I, I really have never been able to get any sort of consistency with them. I just skipped past that guy. Okay. I know they look like lions, but he says tiger punch and tiger kick. Yeah. That's the name of the move. Yeah. I, we, we all know it looks like a lion. <laughs> So this I skip, know that I'm stupid, but... This skip right here, probably not intended, but this skip coming up right here is... I really don't know. I, I have never really been able to think, is this skip intended or not? Because this... Oh, I missed this platform. But this platform you can get up to, and there's really nothing else to do from this platform other than go up top and just kind of run on the ceiling for 10 seconds. You gotta do a moving jump for that one, I believe. Yeah, I... I didn't get the moving jump would have made it a little easier but here we are we skipped about a third of the level um because that part just exists we're gonna pick up the otter here because we will use him and uh there's also in this stage a few like puzzles with these pushing blocks and the, the breakable blocks that we've been seeing here and there um for the most part we're gonna get through them quickly or just skip them all together um just because they're a little bit tedious to get through like, this is just your look at this chat. Look at this otter, man. He's so kawaii. Kawaii desu, as they would say. So this part right here, you're supposed to do a really long, like, puzzle and stuff. But you can actually... Oh, dang, I missed the jump. You can actually just jump up and grab this, uh... This platform and skip all of it. And I cannot just stand still for two seconds. Tarchan, you know, like, you and me, we gotta get through this together, bud. We're all in this together. All right. I mean, Tarchan's doing his best, okay? He is. He's trying his hardest, but... Uh... He's no bully. Oh, man. I thought I had it that time. All right. We're going to refill health here. Because we are almost dead. How's your day been, Author Blues? Tell me about it. What'd you, what, were you, what have you been up to? What, what have you been up to, chat? Tell me about your day. Yeah, I want to hear about chat. I already said what I did today. I well, was I didn't hear. In a hurricane. Oh, okay, cool. 
I can't. Grilling in a hurricane, then playing some video games. Nice, nice. Hey, we got the thing, by the way. I knew you could probably do it eventually. I was hoping I could. Now, was that a time save there? I think we may have lost just a slight amount of time. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's probably fine. So just waiting on uh, some cycles here, getting my squats in for the day. You know, you gotta do that. Stuff. You gotta do that sort of thing. You gotta stay on top of it. All right, this part up here is uh, kind of annoying. Because you gotta deal with a lot of these skeleton nerds, and they're just all over the place. And they're big. They're big bullies, honestly. So the punch, um, the fully charged punch actually knocks out all of the blocks that are connected. Um, and sometimes you have to be really careful of that in this game because that's not always good. Yeah, there's a couple spots where it like is slower to do that. And there's one spot, which we'll talk about at the end. Ooh, I got that nice, that was tricky. There's one spot at the very end where if you do that, you essentially um, peck yourself over, um, but we'll talk about that when I get there. So, uh, the boss of this is, uh, Frankendracken Swap Monster. Um, this guy's really, really random, but he's pretty easy to hit. Um, so he, it's usually not too bad to, to deal with him. Either really, the one thing there is that acid breath you kind of have to deal with sometimes. Yeah, fortunately he, uh, you can, you can mostly just out DPS him. Yeah. You just kind of have to react to where he's jumping, and sometimes he'll just jump up in the corner. That wasn't too bad of a fight. A couple of acid breaths, but just fine. Hey, if a few acid breaths are wrong, then I don't want to be right. Okay. I won't make you. Do you want to speak a little bit to your mashing technique? Um, so there's three buttons on the controller, one that is rock, one that is paper, and one that is scissors, and I just press all of them and see what happens. Wow. Yeah. It's so <laughs> brave. Real deep, real deep technique here. I'm really you enjoying like... the, the faces of all the uh, people when they lose. Like, look at you the Mega Jack Swan Meister, he's so sad. Aww. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, I, uh, one request from the mods. I'd like the mods to put this uh, room in sour please only mode because this track is an absolute slapper. So listen to that bass. Uh, so this otter power up right here is just kind of tucked away in the corner and that's very important because we need that to beat the stage. This stage, um, the factory stage is just full of giant trolls that it does to try and keep you from beating this this level. Yeah, this level is actually really circuitous too. You you end up revisiting the same areas in the level over and over in sort of strange ways. It, this is just not not great. Circuitous. I like what you. I see what you did there because there's electricity everywhere. I'm glad you picked it up. Yeah, nice backwards swag uh, floating there. All right, we skipped over that part. This part, like the bottom part of this is kind of dumb, so I'm gonna try to skip over all of it. But there's a couple of dumb jumps in it, but we're all right. I jumped way too early, but we'll just kind of do that and make do. But yeah, this is a stage where um, taking some time to refill your health is pretty much required if you want to go kind of the optimal route. Um, there's just so many spots where it's just easier just to take damage than it is to wait for a good cycle or anything like that. So hopefully I won't have to do it once, maybe twice, but it could happen a couple more times if I make some mistakes as well. And we didn't catch that cycle on that lift, but that's okay. Hey, that's the dream. Yeah. We Missed tried. the dream cycle. That guy, poor, like that guy's just chilling in that little spot and then he gets a big block dropped on him. Like I feel bad for that guy. Um, oh, this, this part. Hit the... Listen, Tarchan, I, we gotta talk. You and me, we gotta have a discussion about... Okay, we, he got the blocks. So here's another part where, like, this may or may not be an intended skip. Like, I, I'm skipping a real massive part of this stage by going up this way. 
but it's I don't know it's just so weird that that exists um ooh, we're taking a lot of damage here probably gonna refill the old health arena here because if I if I die I have to start the stage over no matter what um so pretty bad for the speed run not ideal yeah not what you want to do if you're looking to uh, go fast in your speed game I actually probably didn't need to refill it that much but whatever uh. hey no one's ever lost a world record because they spent too much time playing it safe I mean all right is that even right yeah, could not deal with that nerd I don't think anybody's lost a world record due to licking their armpits too much. I think that's probably true. Alright. Those guys are kind of annoying to deal with. I don't want to fall down into the electrical pit of doom, so... Alright. So this part right here, this was a skip discovered by your boy, Author Blues. Um, Wait, normally, you who? see those... That's you. Those springs up on the left there. You actually technically intended to grab the armadillo and bounce up those spikes and up those... Uh, those springs to get up to this part, but you can actually just time it so that Tartan will grab onto that little spot right there and you can skip all that. Which, that saves a lot of time, honestly, because getting the armadillo does take a bit of time in this stage. Um, up here we got this nerd who um, is really annoying and I don't like him. So just gonna make sure he gets out of my way. And we missed the jump. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this section because we're gonna go through it again. Yeah, this level, um, this is kind of what I was getting at before was, <clears throat> you know, the, a little bit here. there's a lot of spots <clears throat> where you can find yourself falling way back, uh, revisiting areas over and over and over again. Yeah, it's, like, it, it starts in the castle stage, but then really does happen in this stage quite a bit, where they just try to, like, trick you and make you fall down and have to redo massive sections over and over again in order to kind of, uh elongate how long the game takes. Did I kill the guy? I must have killed the guy. All right, cool. I didn't kill the guy, but he's over there. All right, cool. Um, I'm actually going to refill a little bit here. I took a little too much damage the second time through on the electricity, and I do want to do this part here. Because this puzzle is dumb, so I'm just going to skip it, hopefully. Yeah, this should be good. All right, the cool. only thing about skipping this puzzle is that if he falls past here, uh, doing the puzzle would have opened up um, a way for him to get back without too much trouble, but he'd have to redo a lot more of the stage. Yeah. But well, we should be okay here. Alright, so we're gonna break down here. Um, we're gonna pick up this magazine. Tarchin likes it for, uh, for the articles. He really enjoys those. Good read there. And uh, here's kind of the whole reason we've been doing everything, is to get to this tiny little chute in order to float down it. <laughs> this one little gap. That's what we've been going for this whole time. And I'm just gonna keep this glide going, because why not? It's a great sprite to look at. Right. He's actually been at this part of the stage a few times, but just couldn't get to that gap. All right, so I took those both of them. So this is why we needed the otters for this one tail gap. And here's a spot where normally if you would Tarchan punch those blocks, like you've been doing throughout most of the game, you would actually clear out all of these blocks here and you wouldn't be able to stand on this. You wouldn't be able to jump up here, so you wouldn't be able to get up to the top of the stage. So it's just a whole bunch of trolls at the very end of the stage to try and keep you from completing it. But uh, I've definitely, I've definitely on PB pace before Tarchan punched up and just, that's it. Yeah. So here's the, uh, the last boss sort of um this is actually a pretty easy boss once you get him going here there we go he always jumps backwards once you hit him um and once he gets in the corner he just jumps up like an idiot like this so i'm glad you find this boss easy because i never did i'm actually really messing it up after talking about how easy it is but i think i got him now Alright. My man Oglib comes with the rhythm. So we beat we beat the guy. Um, but then he goes out and gets a big sunburn or something, I don't know. And now he's really mad. Why is he so mad? I don't know. Cause probably because we punched him. But uh, oh, now he also he's like sense. he's got like ultra instinct or something, he can like dash really quickly. 
But, uh, I don't know, you kind of just punch him a bunch and kick him a bunch, and he just dies. And then that's it. That's the video game. We're coming up on time. But hey, I'm controlling the time, so I don't have to... I can, I can be on that. Hey, we beat the game! Whoa! Whoa! Did Oglib just beat a video game? I did! In 26 minutes and 1 seconds. So here's the ending of the game. Um, Japanese Jane tells you some stuff. I got 101,050 points, probably? That's probably points. Um, and then 44 something else. I think that's, I think those are the acorns that you see. Um, and then Jane's disappointed in me. Um, I'm pretty sure there's an actual good ending to this game, but I have no idea how to accomplish it. So if somebody wants to find out uh, what it takes to get the good ending in this game, uh, let me know and I'll make author blues run it. I'm sure it said they're right on the screen. They probably did. We I wouldn't kind of. I can't went, read it. I can't read anime. I, I can't do it. But uh, yeah, that's Jungle Luigi Tarchi and Second Man Yu Daikakudo no Maki. If you here, I can. I know it's it's pretty tough to pronounce all. So I'll, I will I will walk you through it. Are you ready? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, so it's jungle. Okay, well you don't have to. No 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 no. Just, just no. No. Luigi Tarchi and Second Man Yu Daikakudo no Maki. Wijitar chan sekamanyu dai kakuto no maki. It just rolls. It just rolls right off the tongue. Just rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, who's next? Who's who's playing video games next? Not me, thankfully. We got Hatman playing Franco's Crazy Revenge. Yo, Franco's sick. That's gonna be a good run. Don't go anywhere. Don't like. You might be like, okay, I'm gonna leave the stream. Don't leave the stream. Don't. Don't do it.